What's going on guys, Ryan with Jedi Patrol, back with another video today. Hot Toys Miles Morales Bodega Cat Suit. Let's check it out. I got mine from Pop Collectibles, so if you want to get one for yourself, check the link in the description below. They've got, obviously, hot toys. They've got third-party figures and accessories and all kinds of fun stuff. Payment plans are available if you like that kind of thing. Uh, check them out in the description below. Sec second part, number part number two. Uh, we have a giveaway of the six-scale So-So Toys Bat Lady coming at the end of this month. So if you haven't already subscribed, you have to be subscribed to do so. Go ahead and hit that button. We'll uh, have a live stream. We'll do a giveaway for that figure at the end of the month. And then maybe we'll do something again next month. So for the 40% or 50% of the people that are watching this right now that are not subscribed, click the button and we're going to go ahead and get into the unboxing. As you can see, we've got a pile of accessories, which is awesome with any Spider-Man figure. So this is going to be a lot of fun and posing. I'm super excited for that. And uh, let's just get into it. So we've got a pile of stuff. So you do have uh, a little stand here. Here's your display base. It's typical hexagonal Spider-Man display base with uh, Miles Morales right there. And it says Bodega Catsuit, which is not, this. it's just printed on there. There's really nothing awesome about that. Uh, but it does have a dynamic stand. So we've all seen this 1,000 times. Uh, but that's, that's the stand. So you might be interested in that. Matches the other spider peoples. Uh, you're going to get these awesome. These are stupid cool, man. I got to be honest. Let's look at these. These right here are some of the coolest accessories for any Spider-Man figure. Now, I, I don't think it's going to be very fun posing with these. I think we're going to need the dynamic stand or something to hold them up. But the fact that the wheels turn, look at this. The wheels turn is pretty cool. They didn't have to do that. It's got his little rockets things going on here. It's, these are stupid cool. And when you see like the, uh, the teal color against the suit, uh, burgundy color, I mean, the complimentary colors are great. Nice little red wires there. And uh, so obviously we're going to get I need two of these guys so they look cool. So big fan of those. I think those are a lot of fun. So not only get these, you're going to get this guy. Now this, this is probably one of the coolest, other than Spider-Man the cat. We're, we'll get in that in just a second. This is probably one of the coolest accessories. Uh, sorry to zoom back down here. This is his sketchbook. And this is just, uh, this is just awesome. So in, in this sketchbook, and it's a nice sturdy piece of cardstock. Uh, it is very nicely done. Uh, in here, you've got like some uh, grid paper, some sketch paper. And in the individual pages, you've got sketches of actual suit designs, which is pretty sweet. So there's uh, there's one, and there's all kinds of little words in here. I'm not going to read all those, but check this out. We've got the hero suit right there. Look at all kinds of awesome. There's sketches, a little uh, web design, web shooter design. There's empty pages. And uh, I think that's a pretty cool touch. So I am happy they added that. We're also obviously going to get these guys. These are the little um, zap effects, lightning effects, venom strike. I was looking for the right word. Venom strike effects. You're going to get two of these. These are a lot st more sturdy and thicker than the previous uh, iterations of these. Uh, we talked about this on the live stream when we did a live unboxing uh, with Brendan. And uh, this was, uh, we get two of these. Uh, these are actually pretty cool. I actually have used these in the past on my other uh, Miles Morales figures. We're going to get two Spider-Man cat accessories. Now, this one we saw with the previous version, and it is exactly the same. There's no difference. So if you really wanted this one and you didn't want both Miles Morales figures, you could buy this one and you could have both of the uh, cat figures. So this goes in the backpack. It's actually pretty neat, which I have. I'll kind of get to that jump ahead for a second. Here's the backpack, uh, which you can actually put them right in there. So these, if you have not used one of these before, there's a, a little peg right here at the bottom. Those come out, you put them on the figure, peg that back in there. They go on and off very easily. And then it comes with a switch out top part. So this right here pops off. There are two peg holes right here and in this accessory tray. Let's see if I can actually get this out of here without spilling a thousand pieces of plastic on here. You peg this into the two peg holes, just like so. And then you've got a spot for your Spider-Man cat to go right in there, just like the previous version. This is just a cool one. And of course, you can have him going that way, or you can have him going, you know, this way, kind of peeking out the back of whichever way you like him to go. You can do that. That is a pretty cool accessory. But of course, we don't get just the one. We get a second Spider-Man cat uh, accessory right here. And this is a more jumping one, more, attack, let's call it attack, attack mode. We'll go with that. Uh, pretty cool. It's it's definitely a weird, if you just look at it on the own, it's a weird 
pose. But if we get him like bouncing off the figure on his arm or something like that, it's gonna be a pretty cool accessory. And uh, as Brendan noted, this is way cooler, way, way cooler than the Einstein we got with the Marty McFly figure uh, earlier this year, because that one looks like a big old pile of, pile of poop. Uh, they do have these holes on the bottom, so you have this accessory that comes in the packaging. You can kind of peg that in there, have him kind of just jumping off of that. That's kind of cool, dig that. And we got a pile of other accessories. I mean, you can look at all, this is the accessory tray that comes with the figure. So we've got the little backpack cover that goes there. We've got a cup, a coffee cup that we saw first year with the uh, uh, Scarlet Spider. It was the first time we saw that one right here. And we got these switch out eye plates. So we'll kind of come back down here. So here's the switch out eye plates. I probably won't use those. I generally don't because I'll just end up losing them. Uh, we do get a cell phone. Uh, with some stuff on it that's way too small for me to even try and read. Uh, we get a, a headset. With, I, I do like these because on the uh, other version, we got like the ear muffs because it was cold, right? Uh, here's their, his, uh, his uh, non-licensed beats. I'm going to say they're beats. I don't know what they are really. Uh, they're, these are not branded, so we'll go with that. Uh, and then you get your normal Spider-Man hands. These are exact same hands we've seen with every other Spider-Man. Uh, really nothing new notable here. I do like the thumbs up. If I can get it out of the packaging. I do I do like the thumbs up. I kind of dig that one. Uh, but the rest of them are pretty much the exact same stuff. Web shooter switch out pieces we've seen before. So nothing new there. And then on the actual webs, exact same webs we've seen with every other Spider-Man figure. Uh, we'll break those out when posing, including the little attachment funnel web deal. But one of the coolest accessories, other than the sketchbook, has got to be the gift wrapped in newspaper package of Miles' suit. So if you haven't played the game, uh, Peter Parker actually gave Miles his first suit, uh, and uh, this is what it looked like. He had it wrapped up. There's a cut scene. You can probably find it on YouTube. Uh, if you search um, for it, you can find it where if you haven't played the game, you can see that. It's pretty nice that they included this, and it's very well done. So I really quite like it. And it it's just it's a nice accessory piece. Big fan of this. So that's all the accessories with this guy. We're going to get the figure out here. Now, you may be seeing yourself, why do I need this particular Miles Morales figure when I have the previous one? Or honestly, well, here's the question, which one should I get? Should I get this one or should I get the previous one? Should I get the 2020 tech suit version? Should I bypass all of the game versions and get the end of the Spider-Verse Miles? And the answer is yes, buy them all. That is the answer and um, you, need, you need them all. I think that's great. If you came here for some rational thinking, we're looking at $300 action figures, guys. There's no damn rational thinking. It's buy what's in your budget, and if your budget allows, buy them all. That's what that's what I say. Um, but uh, here we go. Here is our bodega suit, Spider-Man Miles Morales. It is flipping awesome. I love it. Now, what, one of the first things everybody's asking me, like, what's underneath the suit? So here's a, what's underneath the suit. Uh, nothing. Nothing is underneath the suit. So you cannot take the hoodie off, right? or if you could, if you did, it would look weird, or maybe. I guess here's, if you got a different hoodie, which wouldn't match the game, I suppose you could change this for a different one if you wanted to. I don't know why you would, but you know, there's that. Uh, if you did, you wouldn't have the web shooters actually on the sleeve, so there's a the thing. Um, but a couple things I, I wanted to note, just kind of going through uh, range of motion real quick for those interested. Is this a normal Spider-Man figure you can pose the crap out of? The answer is absolutely yes. Double bend there, yes. Double bend here. Yes, you're obviously going to have some bunching going on because it's a Spider-Man. It's, it's the same suit material as the previous Miles Morales, which I will say, they should just use this suit material on every Spider-Man. I don't know why they don't. I would have loved to have seen this on the recent classic suit Spidey, but they use that thicker advanced suit Spidey material. This is a much, much cleaner, much more uh, pliable uh, material. We do have our Spider logo on the, on the hoodie. Uh, going right here uh, on the back if you wanted to. I mean, you can't really get that over the head. I mean, I guess if you if you want to, I don't know. It just it doesn't look all that great, you know? I like it better. I like it better that way, but, you know, personal choice. Uh, it, for those wondering if you can switch the head out on this one and the previous miles, you can, but it will look it won't, it doesn't, it doesn't really match. I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, these uh, are nice. There's some of those wires here. Those are just there. Uh, obviously the eyes are switch out. So if you can change those, if you want to, uh, but they are here, let's just, let's just, let's just get down into the nitty gritty. This particular Spider-Man figure has in uh, uh, sculpted lines. Okay. See all the sculpted lines, they're recessed 
And if I break out my other friend here, Mr. Miles, here's my other friend, Mr. Miles. Mr. Miles here, number two. Uh, Mr. Miles, number one here. These are these are not. So this one has stippling on the. Uh, here, let's see. This one has stippling on the suit, on the helmet, on the head, on the mask, I guess if you will. And they have raised webs, whereas this one is smooth and has recessed webs. They, they're they're different. Okay. Now, if that matters to you, you know, whatever. But they, they are different for those who are curious about that. Um, the suit material, like I said earlier is very well done and there's nice patterning. So it's like you get these different sections of stitching going on and different variants of, of black and, and like almost like a carbon fiber weave, if you will, uh, on this suit material. And then it goes down and you got the red and then you got the shoes. You got the shoes. Now they're not branded shoes, but that's okay. I, I'm okay with that. We do have a nice little spider logo on the, on the back of it. Uh, and then on the bottom, we do have a little bit of a, a little bit of a tread you see right there. Not bad, right? Uh, but they're they're uh, they're not branded, and I'm okay with that. That doesn't really. I'm not a shoe guy, so that doesn't really matter to me. But it might matter to you. And I do know that if you want, you do want, you can buy some shoes on. Uh, well, I'll put some links down below for for other overseas websites. Uh, you can actually buy the shoes and change them out. Uh, Shane, uh, one of our uh, mods in the Facebook group, actually did some on his and did some customs, some Jordans, and they looked phenomenal. Um, they're really not difficult to do. So that's kind of cool. Um, as far as the hands go, we saw those. We're going to have all the normal Spider-Man hands. There's nothing really super going on with that. That's all the normal stuff. But yeah, I kind of dig it. So if I had to pick one over one, uh, I mean, just as far as uh, just on appearance, right? On appearance wise, if I had to pick one, I'm picking this one. I'm picking this one just, just, just based on that. Obviously, I'm not going to choose because I want them all. Um, but based on appearance, my personal opinion, I think this one's it where it's at, but you guys can let me know down below. Let's get to some posing. All right, let's have some fun with this guy. So we're going to keep it simple. We're going to do museum-esque pose to start with. Then we'll do something a little bit crazy. We'll bring in some other spider figures and have some fun posing them up. So this is super simple. I think this pose is as simple as you get that you can break out some accessories that comes with the figure and it, it makes somewhat sense honestly it makes makes some sense uh so let's just let's break it down for just a second and and then we'll move on to a little bit more exciting stuff uh so let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got up top we've got him holding this coffee cup which is one of my favorite accessories for any spider figure we've got the gift wrapped spider suit but he's already wearing a spider suit so there's a the thing then we've got spider-man cat in the background uh, with the backpack and uh simple standing straight up and down and uh, it would absolutely look good on any display just like this. So if you don't want to mess up any of the suit, you don't want to worry about creases, you don't want to worry about uh, space, this will absolutely be a simple one for you to do. And I think it works. But, uh, you know, you know me, I'm, I'm going to try and do something a little bit more fun. Um, but this is, a, this is a pretty good start to the madness. So let's go ahead and make out the next pose. And maybe we'll introduce some other Spider-Man figures. And just like that, we've got Spidey added to the collection. Uh, so we've got Miles Morales and we've got Advanced Suit Spider-Man. So I just want to kind of showcase these two before we break out a few more figures and, and have some fun with these guys. So I am super excited always to add another Miles. And I wanted to go ahead and switch out the shoes for the rollerblades. And believe it or not, they were extremely simple. They were like super simple. Took no time, no effort whatsoever, which is cool because honestly changing out shoes or feet on other figures has been a pain these actually worked very well uh, but you can see i've got them right here we got uh spider-man cat sitting on advanced suit pouncing on somebody we've got him in kind of a uh advanced suit spider we got him kind of in a landing pose getting ready to jump on somebody and uh, the wedgies are real with the advanced suit spidey so to pay no attention to that uh, but then we do have our uh, our miles morales figure balancing we got him balancing on this one hand while taking a selfie he's taking a selfie straight up uh and there he is with his uh his roll plates going up there so i think this is super fun and i'm not putting really any stress on the suit whatsoever if you wanted to straighten out that other knee you could uh, but you could absolutely have yours posed up just like this and not worry about uh any damage to the suit uh, but honestly these miles morales figures are 
pretty resilient uh, regardless. So super happy with this one. I think this one uh, turned out pretty well as far as the pose goes. Uh, you guys can let me know your thoughts and down below if you like this pose. Would you steal this pose? If you're wondering how I did it, I, you can see the dynamic standard there. I'm not using the clip. He's literally just resting his right knee on the dynamic pole, just using it as a balance. And uh, honestly, it looks pretty stinking good in my opinion. Having fun with this one. Let's do another one. Okay, so I've got a, a lot of spider people up here. And if I haven't earned your subscription with this pose set up, I don't know what the hell I can do. By the way, by the way, there is a giveaway at the end of this month for the So So Toys Six Skill Bat Lady. Stay tuned for that. Uh, now, I've got my turntable on a really, really slow speed because there's a lot going on here and there's a little bit of hum. I'm going to try to edit that out. But if I can't get it all the way out, my apologies. We're going to do the best we can with that. Uh, I do want to uh, take note of a couple of things you want to hear. I have a lot of figures up here. Venom in the middle. I had to break out all the accessories for Venom. Venom in the middle has no stand which means Scarlet Spidey way in the air, getting choked by Venom with a pizza box, also has no stand. He's literally floating on Venom. Uh, so take note of that. It is ridiculous, and I expect it to fall at any moment. So let's, uh, fingers crossed. You guys, we've been here before, and <laughs> things have fallen. Uh, there is our uh, bodega suit, Miles Morales punching Venom in the face. We've got our van suit with a web on him wrapped around his neck. We've got, oh, look at these guys. These guys are not even paying attention. Like, Miles is showing his sketchbook. Peter's having a donut. Gwen's back there chilling. We, we got one guy here. He's doing like a pose. He's doing the Black Widow. I'm going to do a pose thing. And then uh, and then our cyborg Spidey's literally running off with the gift that uh, Peter gave Miles. So I don't know what that's all about. Uh, and then we got these guys just literally getting punched in the face up there by... Uh, uh, by Miles. And then, of course, we got Scarlet Spidey. It's going to be hard to show. A Scarlet Spidey is literally up there, tangled up in uh, our uh, in our Venom tendrils, uh, the symbiote part, and literally has no stand whatsoever. But he has got a pizza box, which the pizza box slid off the stand a little bit, but I think we can let that slide. Um, yeah, literally no, no stand whatsoever. So, you know, this Spidey, this is why you have a lot of Spideys. Now, this takes up a decent amount of space. I say this is about two feet wide. Well, circumference, two feet circumference and a good 18 inches tall, somewhere in that ballpark. So this, this takes up a good amount of room. And of course you got a turntable going on, um, but having a lot of Spidey figures, this is, this is why. Uh, so if I had to, if I had to say like, which miles would I buy? Currently I would buy the original miles. That's the one I would buy. Uh, I like the suit material on both. I like the the hero suit. I think if if I was going to choose between one of the two, the bodega cat suit with the hoodie or the hero suit version, I would get the hero suit version if I only got one. Thankfully, I'm going to get them all. Um, but the having the spider emblem on there, the accessories are cool. Certainly posable. It's got the cat, got the backpack, got a little snow look, which is nice. Uh, I would go for that one. Uh, doesn't mean the bodega suit, uh, bodega cat suit's bad. But everybody asked me, which one should I get? So, I, you know, obviously buy which one you like. But if I had to choose, I would choose the Hero Suit version. That being said, if you want this one, I got mine from Pop Collectibles. You can check it out. There's a link in the description below. It is an inexpensive figure with a lot of accessories. And it's actually pretty stinking cool. And if you're a Spider fan, you're collecting all the Spideys, this is a good one to have. Uh, and obviously, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Now's right now is a good time to do that. And if you haven't checked out a Facebook group, uh, link in the description for that as well. And uh, come join your uh, join the group, share your collection, share photos, share poses, get tips and tricks, all that kind of stuff in the group. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, click what you like. See you next time.